All right, everybody. Well, so the dev server has finally dropped for the next update. And while I am excited about the JAF getting at it, I'm more excited about what the missiles that it carries offer when it comes to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Now, the biggest upgrade, of course, to this plane right here is these new PL-8s. Uh, these are Python 3s. As far as I'm aware, they're just licensed produced. There's no other changes. Everything else is going to be identical. It says 40 Gs in the stat car right now. That is not correct. On the dev server, at least, they are pulling 30 Gs. And then I've been told they're supposed to pull 35. So just keep that in mind. The, how they're performing right now, as I'm sure you all are aware, everything on the dev server is subject to change, all that good stuff, yada, yada, yada. Now, you can't carry six of them, even though you can carry six missiles. Uh, you get four of them total, and then you can also carry two PL-5Bs. From what I understand, for whatever reason, the Chinese just decided to not wire two of the pylons for the PL-8. But either way, PL-5B is still an excellent missile, and if I had six of those on the JA, I'd already be happy, let alone PL-8s. Just to give you all a heads up, I'm going to be calling the PL-8 Python 3 from now on, just because it's easier for me. Because they're the same missile anyways, and I don't have to worry about it. Now, Python 3, what are we looking at here? Well, it's essentially an AMML on massive, massive steroids. So the burner doesn't go for quite as long, but it has like at least twice as much power on sustainer and four times as much power on booster. For those of y'all who aren't aware, uh, your booster is what kicks in at first when it actually accelerates off the rail and the sustainer is the longer burning you know, motor that burns for longer to keep it going at a reasonable pace. Now. Because it doesn't burn for quite as long as the AMNL, it does lose a little bit more speed, but it just has so much more speed overall that the range is as good or better than the AMNL in almost every case. Now, in addition to those new missiles, uh, it also has better engines. You can see I did a little side-by-side -side with my friend Jake right here with the old J8B compared to the new J8F. Uh, these have roughly 500 kilograms of force more per engine, which you can see it does give you a lot more acceleration even just off the runway, especially at these higher altitudes, you're gonna be feeling it a lot. Like I hit Mach 1.9 in an actual battle. Well, on the dev server, of course, but still, I'm not used to hitting those higher speeds in the J8. It would go quick, but not this quick. So that is pretty nice. If you're looking for speed, especially at the higher altitudes, this thing is gonna be perfect for that. Now, in addition, uh, it does also get these missiles to call the PL-11. Uh, don't be fooled, they're literally just a speed A. They were already on the J-8B, there's no difference. Now you do get a much better radar than on the J-8. You can see it actually has an ACM mode now, which is really useful for, you know, for going ahead and uh, dogfighting. It also has HMD, just like the AK-141, which is perfect. Um, HMD both for the missiles and for the radar. So you can see right here, I'm just mousing around, got my mouse looking all over the place. And all you have to do is just click your lock on button whenever you have your mouse pointed at them and you're able to go ahead and lock. You know, you can also just use your C button or whatever you have bound for your free look to go ahead and look around while you're doing this. And uh, yeah, it, it really does help. Now, me personally, I wouldn't recommend running the PL-11 or SB day uh, The SB day it's a, it's a decent radar missile, don't get me wrong, but in today's meta, it just it really doesn't cut it anymore. Uh, and with how good the Python is, I'd rather just run the Python in the first place. I mean, you need to get four of them. Uh, they should pull more Gs once they come to live. It should pull 35 instead of 30 they're pulling right now. And they have more range. They're faster. They're stealthier because they don't give an RWR warning. The only case I could see wanting to run the SB day is in the hypothetical chance that, for whatever reason, you really want to engage people head on because the missiles, of course, still get one flare in the head on. The Python 3 does not have IRCCM, so it's not going to be able to ignore flares in the head on. Now, unfortunately, both the missiles and guns still have real shatter, and I'll be doing a video on that later this week, just to give you all a heads up. So, neither the missile nor the gun actually goes ahead and finishes them off right off the bat, but Pythons and PL-5Bs both have really, really fast acceleration. So you see, I tried to do a funny little HMD shot on that uh, on that F4EJ right there. You want to give them a little bit more range just because of that. And it's not because they can't pull, it's just because they are so incredibly fast that they're not able to get there in time. Now, they do the 
Python 3 does have a really nice security miss. They got like a 9 kilometer, 8 kilometer lock on that at 14. I'm not 100% sure why that missed because he didn't do anything to the dodge, but if you do want to, I would recommend at least trying to get these really weird high off foresight shots. I find it more fun that way. And the missile is capable of locking, and so provided that it still has the speed and everything else to get there, and especially in these head ons, you, you can get in some really cheeky shots. For me, at least, what I'm super excited about is you can see I'm using the HMD right here to just click on three people in a row and the ability to quickly rack up kills and it was already good with the r60ms but having hmd with longer range missiles and especially the python 3 which is more flare resistant than the r60m as well it's also more flare resistant than the mnl it's, it's huge and even with the pl5b like you can see right here i see this a7k like two two and a half or so clicks away i just mouse at him fire the missile he dies simple as nice and easy now, what excites me more isn't necessarily the fact that the J8 gets Python 3. It's the fact that because it has Python 3, this opens the doors for other vehicles which had Pythons to go ahead and get them. Specifically, for those of y'all who have known me for a long time, the Kefir, I really, really think the Kefir C7 could use Python 3. Uh, same thing for maybe the current S2000 and the Nets. They could all use getting pythons and maybe go up a little bit in BR. So, for example, they can move the Kefir to 11.7, and they can move the Kernas 2000 to 12.0, and then they can move the Nets to 12.0 as well. Because the Nets, of course, doesn't have sparrows like most of the other F 16s do. Israel is the only nation right now which doesn't have any F 16 with sparrows. So, they could give it better IR missiles in exchange. And then you could have the current S2000 at the same BR, worse flight performance, but the Sparrows, if you really want that. Uh, I think that'd be a good change. I definitely think the Kefir should really get them. Uh, it's really anemic right now, <laughs> 11.3 with the A9Gs. So uh, let me know what y'all think of the dev server going on. I know there's a lot going on in the community right now. Uh, I might make an economy video at some point as well. But in the meantime, let's just focus on the patch in my comments, and I really appreciate that. So, uh, by the way, I am trying to push for 5,000 subscribers. If you like this content, want to see more dev server content and just more content in the future, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It does a lot for me. And uh, yeah, either way, hope y'all enjoy the video and I will see y'all next time. So peace, y'all.